press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi everyone. So in this part, uh, we are going to start a new lesson, the stars and our solar system. Okay. So uh, what are this uh, in your mind? What are the things will come when we are talking about the solar system? Yeah. This is our solar system means it consists of a planets and some stars and moon, sun, earth. So like this, the picture will come in your mind. Okay. So the main is the solar system consists of a eight planets and then also some stars and also some satellites is it so now first we, we will discuss about the uh, what are the climate so what are the things which are present in our solar system so firstly we are uh, when we are in the when we are seeing in the night sky so in the night time so what we will observe yeah stars moons is it so number of stars are appearing in the sky in the night time and also the moon so which is giving a light for us in the night time is it so these stars are these moons and these moons and stars are visible in the night time so clearly in our sky is it so when we are seeing this uh, stars and moon so in the cities uh, it is very different compared to the villages why because so the villages is a made up of very clean environment means there is a less amount of vehicles less amount of traffic so less amount of pollution like this is it so this will avoid the uh, clearance of uh, clearance of the sky we can see in the villages but in the cities what will happen so the number of uh, vehicles also are more and also number of gases releasing during the transportation are also more and about the so this atmosphere is fully covered by a dust is it and some smoke and dust are covering in this atmosphere in the cities but in the villages so there is no dust and smoke means yeah, the amount of dust and smoke is less so which is acquired by the atmosphere which are these will acquire the atmosphere so in the villages we can see the clear sky so in the cities we uh, means less amount of the clear sky we can visible through uh, from the earth is it so the these stars have a special character so that is they will twinkle is it stars will twinkle and also planets also present in the solar system as i told so whether the planets will twinkle no why so these planets are very near to our earth okay so that's why they will not twinkle but stars they are very very far away from the earth so that's why they are twinkling in the they are twink they are twinkling in the sky is it so the, the, that is a special character of the stars so there are many many stars are there in our skies and in the later uh, class we will discuss about that but now we mainly discuss about the the appearance of the star and about the moon okay so i told that stars will twinkle so this uh, the planets will not twinkle in the night time but these planets and uh, the stars and also are uh, in the sky in the daytime also okay so we are seeing only in the night time but they are appearing in the sky in the daytime also why they are not visible to us yeah so because these stars are uh, uh, means the brightness of the sunlight so it discovers the stars because of the glare amount of light which is emitting to that our atmosphere of the earth so that's why we cannot see the stars in the daytime but in the night time so in the absence of the sun so we can see the stars in the night sky okay why uh, these stars are also present in daytime and night time also so i come to know about that so why the stars are not visible in the daytime is it so now we will uh, discuss about the moon so, okay moon and stars and these planets so e objects yen yenu namma sky alli present idiyala so now adakke celestial objects anta kariti the objects which are present in the sky celestial objects anta kariti the objects which are appearing 
appearing in the sky appearing in the sky so are called celestial objects so which are the objects we are seeing in the sky so it may be sun moon like this sun the moon and stars asteroids comets meteors so like this objects are present in the solar system means in the sky so for this we will call them as celestial objects so these are all appearing in the sky so for these objects we will call as a celestial objects okay then this what is the study of the celestial objects means we want to know about the celestial objects so adanna nam en anta karitivi astronomy anta karitivi the study of the celestial objects and related to their phenomena means related to those galaxies comets like this not only for the uh, stars and uh, moon like that okay so they are the, the study of all the celestial objects and related to their phenomena are called as astronomy astronomy anta karitivi okay so the study of the study of natural phenomena so the study of celestial object the study of celestial objects and associated phenomena and associated phenomena it's called as astronomy okay so the study of celestial objects and associated associated phenomena is called as astronomy so the objects which are present in the sky for them we will call it as a for those objects we will call it as a celestial objects stars moon sun asteroids comets meteors so planets so these are all called as a celestial objects which are appearing in the sky so the next one is the study of celestial objects and associated phenomena is called as astronomy so we know about the what are these stars and moons and also the study of this celestial object are called as astronomy so as i told that the stars are twinkle in the sky so the planets will not twinkle that because they are away from of the earth okay so these are these celestial objects are all present in the du uh, during the day time also but they are not visible due to the more amount of sunlight so which is uh, due to their bright light of the sun okay so it is covering all the position is it so it is uh, that's why these celestial objects are not visible us in the day time okay so we will move on to next one we will study about the moon so as you know all about that the moon is a natural satellite which is present in the earth so which is revolving around the earth about its own orbit is it so it is a natural satellite so which is revolving around the earth with the earth so to give a light in the night time okay so on the moon the atmosphere is like that in the day time it has a very hot and in the night time it is a very cold and also it consists of from earth we can see that the moon surface is very very clean no not like that so when we saw in the uh means when the pictures uh, sent by the satellites when we saw when we observed that so it consists of a many creepers of different sizes creepers means small small holes 
of different sizes are covering the surface of the moon and also many steeps and higher mountains means steeps means atyada antartha so atyada matte etteravadanta mountains anna navu adralli means shape anna navu surface anna navu nodabodu okay it is not a clean as uh, it is visible from the earth it is not like that so it, the surface is made up of a small steeps and high mountains and cra uh, craters many uh, different sizes of craters okay so the moon is revolving around the uh, revolving around that to the case uh, to give the light in the night time is it so then the moon consists of a uh, the, whether the moon consists of an atmosphere whether it has a water no so it does not consist of any atmosphere and no water is present in the uh, moon because uh, for this reason there is no existence of the life and also so uh, the, if there is no atmosphere means there is no presence of air water and so i like this the basic things which are present uh, which are present to which are required for the presence of the existence of the life the, the those are not present in this moon so the mainly the first point about the moon is it is a natural satellite it is a natural satellite and also it revolves around the earth by the uh, own orbit moon revolves around the earth on a definite regular path so when the regular path alli adu revolve aagta irutte and next point is the moon is the closest means nearer to the earth closest celestial object to the earth ಸೊ ಬೇರೆ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ಗಿಂತ ತುಂಬ ಹತ್ತಿರವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸೆಲೆಸ್ಟಿಯಲ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯಾವುದು ಮೂನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ hard and dust hard and dust and and also many there are many craters there are many craters of different size craters of different sizes on the surface of the moon on the okay and also it contains the steep of high mountains okay the surface of moon as also a large number of large number of steeps large number of steeps and high mountains okay so the as i told it is a natural satellite and moon revolves around the earth on a definite regular path the moon closes the moon is the closest celestial object to the earth its surface is covered with hard and dust and there are many craters of different sizes on the surface of the moon so the surface of the moon is covered with a different size of craters and also steep and high mountains okay so the next one is so it has no atmosphere it has no 
atmosphere atmosphere means the all air and water so all this will come okay so the next point is on the moon on the moon on the moon the rays are the rays are hot hot and nights are cold and nights are cold nights are cold okay so the next one is the first uh, signed astronomer so who uh, who gone who goes on the first astronomer who lands on the surface of the moon was american astronomer astronomer neil armstrong neil armstrong in 1969 so is the first astronomer who lands on the moon so he is an he is an american astronomer okay so is one of one of the person one of the astronomer who who lands on the surface of the moon the next one is so the weather so i told that the moon has no atmosphere is it so then there is a uh, we can hear the sound in the moon no why so because uh, in the sound lesson we already study about that the sound travels the sound should need a medium to our uh, propagate means to travel is it so it requires one medium to travel from one place to another so here in the moon there is no atmosphere so in this there is no presence of the medium to travel sound so that's why we cannot hear the sounds in the moon okay so how it is visible so how we are visibling these planets means stars uh, moon we are seeing stars we are seeing how means so the in the light lesson you studied about the reflection is it so this all the moon is taking a light from the sun is it so this uh, the moon will take the light from the sun so when the light rays are incident on the moon surface so then the, it will reflect and we can uh, we can see the moon so how the incident and reflection will takes place we already study in the light lesson so the light rays which are coming from the sun are incident on the moon surface and they will in uh, after uh, reflection we can see the moon okay this this moon will take the sunlight from the sun okay so that uh, so how we uh, how we are able to see the moon means so like this due to the reflection of light from the sun so the next one is the phases of the moon so at one day so we are not able to see the sun is it so have you observed the sky clearly means day by day so then you come to, come to know about uh, know about this means at one day we are not able to see the moon okay so on that day we will called as a new moon day new moon day means the sun is uh, the moon is not visible to us okay so then so next position at some after the uh, new moon day so then after some days the so we, we will see the small portion of the moon like this is it so for this we will call it as a crescent moon so next in the full moon day full moon day in the full moon day we are able to see the moon very brightly okay so why so these are the phases which are shown by moon is it in your textbook they have given the phases of the moon so in that you can clearly observe that the phases of the 
moon how the full moon day new moon day and crescent moon will looks okay so new moon day means amavasya anta yen karitivala so avattin dina namge moon visible agodilla means moon kaanodilla so some uh, after the next 15 days only 15 days valgade so it will uh, start to develop like a small disk small shark like crescent like shape anna na moon anna kaanta hogtivi is it then after next 15 days so we will okay we would uh, we will say we can see the full moon day means hunnime anta yen heltivalla hunnime alli namage poorthi chandra kaanisutte so na avadana full moon day anta heltivi is it so idu ee full moon day matte new moon day monthly alli 15 days once aagta irutte is it you observe maadirthira so amavase matte ಹುಣ್ಣಿಮೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯೆ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಹುಣ್ಣಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ದ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಮೂನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಮೂನ್ ಡೇ ಕ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೂನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫುಲ್ ಮೂನ್ ಡೇ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ okay so uh, we will know about one by one so what is new moon day so the, the day on which the day on which the moon is not visible the moon is not visible adana nam en anta karithivi new moon day anta karithivi got new moon day okay on uh, means one small cow portion anna now crescent moon anta karithivi after the some days of new moon day so next one is that is full moon day after 15 days after 15 days after 15 days we can we can see whole bright disk whole bright disk of the moon of the moon is called as full moon day okay so this is a board the new moon day and full moon day the day on which the moon is not visible at all is called new moon day after 15 days we can see the whole bright disk of the moon is called as full moon day so in the middle so we can we are seeing the some crescent like shape of the moon so on that day we will call it as a crescent moon so by seeing this new moon day and full moon day so in our india so we are celebrating the many festivals is it so uh, in the next of new moon day so we are celebrating ugadi so like this many festivals eid mubarak and in the full moon day shivaratri so like this many festivals are celebrating according to this new moon day and the full moon day so next is phases of the moon so the moon uh, the, the uh, means different phases means it will be showing the uh, different phases of the of its surface so for that uh, we are seeing that uh, those phases so for that we will call it as a phases of the moon phases of moon so phases of moon means the different shapes the different shapes the shape, different shapes of bright visible the bright visible part of the moon part of the moon as seen from the seen from the earth 
from the earth are called phases of the moon. So this is about phases of the moon. In the first we are not able to see the moon and next day so we are able to see the crescent like shape. So then afterwards so uh, there is an increase in the um, shape of the moon. Okay. So like this. So then we are able to see the full moon. So after, after the occurring of new moon day, so there is a so change in the shape also and brightness of the moon also. So it consists of uh, and uh, phases they have given in the textbook very nicely. So you can uh, refer the textbook to see the phases of the moon. So this is about the phases of moon and the uh, what are the thing? What are, what are the objects we called as a celestial objects? And uh, we already know about the study of, uh, study of the celestial objects. And uh, we we saw about the moon means what its surface made up of, and it has no atmosphere. So and also it made up of a sleep and creepers. And what are what are, what is about half moon day, full moon day, and about the phases of the moon? Is it? So this is all about the moon and the celestial objects. So in the next part, we are we will discuss about the stars and the solar system. Thank you.